One of the deadliest and most common diseases in the world is lung cancer, and over one million people die a year from the devastating illness. Now, an Israeli company has developed some unique ways to deal with the deadly disease, including a groundbreaking way to diagnose it. Joining us now in the studio is BioView CEO and President Alan Schwebel. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. So, to begin, tell us more about BioView's <coughs> unique technologies. Okay, uh, let me start from the beginning. Uh, BioView was started up about 16 years ago uh, by several uh, Israeli entrepreneurs. Uh, I joined the company 14 years ago. And what we developed really is a scanning and imaging technology in order to capture cells, biological cells, from whether it's tissue samples, blood samples, urine samples, any sample in the body. And those cells are usually going to be marked with specific markers. These markers give us information about genetic abnormalities, other types of abnormalities, which of course will help in being able to diagnose cancer, treat cancer, and sometimes even screen for cancer. So our technology is able to capture the cells, analyze them, and actually give the caregiver the doctor, the pathologist, whoever it is that's treating that particular subject, that patient, that there's either a, a fear for cancer or has already been diagnosed with cancer, and we can tell them what might be the specific cause for that cancer and therefore how you should treat it. So this is what our instrumentation is capable of doing, and it is a very, very advanced technology. It needs to be able to sometimes, we'll talk about this maybe a little later, scan thousands of cells and identify even very few rare cells which are those cancerous cells that we are looking for. Interesting. Now, I mean, this might seem like an obvious question, but what inspired you to create this product line? Well, actually, when the company started up, it was really in a little bit of a different direction. Uh, it was actually trying to solve a different problem that is out there or a different uh, health issue. And that was actually to look for fetal cells and to be able to diagnose any genetic, genetic abnormalities in a fetus before the woman gives birth to that fetus, if she so decides to have an abortion or not, under those type of circumstances. And this is what this technology was originally developed for, for a lot of different reasons, which I really not, don't know all of them, because before I joined the company, they moved off from that, and then we began to concentrate on cancer. The reason any company, I think, wants to deal with cancer is besides the obvious commercial opportunities that are there, and there are a lot of commercial opportunities, uh, I think as somebody that uh, I've been involved in the medical uh, the device industry uh, and dealing with biotech types of companies for more than 30 years here in Israel, it gives you a certain feeling of that you're doing something besides the commercial side. You really feel that you're actually maybe going to help somebody, either by discovering the disease earlier, or if you didn't discover it, but at least you'll figure out exactly what's going on and give somebody the direction towards treating it. So anything to do with diagnosing cancer, and that is what BioView is in, has a very, very good commercial possibility, but it also, I think, brings forward to people a very good feeling to work. Uh, our workers at BioView, our employees at BioView are all very high, highly motivated because they feel that they are really contributing beyond to the company from the commercial point of view, also for helping people. Absolutely. I mean, I can only imagine what, um, you know, how wonderful it is to be able to actually apply something to a disease that is, is so deadly and affecting so many people around the world. Now, You've developed this product that helps diagnose the disease, but what is the process that a person goes through uh, when using that product? Okay, so we don't, of course, have people who are actually ill using the product. Right. Our products are sold to laboratories and to different research laboratories right. and clinical laboratories where the samples are taken from the subjects. As I mentioned before, the, sub, the, the sample might be blood sample, it might be a urine sample, it could be a tissue sample that was taken via biopsy, and then it makes it to the laboratory. In the laboratory, they prepare the sample in a certain way with these specific biomarkers, 
which really are not developed by BioView, but we work with one of the leading companies in the world, the leading company in the world, who develops biomarkers, Abbott Molecular, which is a division part of Abbott, the great Abbott laboratories, the large Abbott laboratories, and we are then able to take that slide, which has the cells on it, marked with these specific biomarkers, and scan and allow the customer, the, the physician, the laboratory, to prepare a report which will go back and say, therefore, you should treat the patient in this particular manner. So, you know, let's say I go into the doctor. Can I request having this process done so I can see what I'm predisposed to, or is it something that a doctor chooses to do based on symptoms you may be? It's usually the doctor will choose okay. to do these types of tests. In other words, depending on the particular thing, we really can break out BioView's particular applications into three areas. Uh, you mentioned at the very beginning about the lung cancer, and I'll right, talk about right. that in a moment. There's other, two other areas which are very important in the uh, use of BioView instrumentation. One area is what's called the area of companion diagnostics, meaning that we need to do a specific test on a patient in order to prescribe for that patient a particular drug. The best example of that is, it is well known today, that women who have breast cancer, metastatic breast cancer, and have overexpression of a particular gene, the HER2 new gene, will actually be treatable with a drug which is called Herceptin. So we need a diagnostic, and we have a companion drug which tells us which people to treat. This test can be done very, very well, very efficiently on the BioView instrumentation. What is the time process, though? You know, once the, the physician sends, uh, you know, the, your urine or whatever it is into the lab to be tested, when can you find out right. what you're predisposed so to? So actually, that is one of the big advantages of the BioView instrumentation. The fact that our instrumentation is automated and we can load up 50 slides, 100 slides, 200 slides, and the system continuously scans the cases means that the instrument can work 24 hours a day, if necessary, seven, hour, seven days a week, and cut back significantly on the turnaround time for when the physician will be able to get the result. In the olden days, 10 years ago, before there was this type of instrumentation, it could take as long as seven to 14 to 20 days to get back the result of that particular test. Today, because of instruments like BioView, the results will be only found, turnaround time, on the order of two to three days. Now, it's not life-threatening, the difference in the time, but obviously the patient who's waiting for that information is in very, very apprehensive state, waiting for the answers. And if you're able to get those answers to them in a much shorter time period, you've already done something very good for that Absolutely. patient. Absolutely. I mean, it's to be able to have such a quick turnover time, right. it can save somebody's life. Now, let's turn to liquid biopsy. Okay. Explain to us what this is. All right. So let me just backtrack for a moment and talk what is a biopsy, first of all. Right. Okay. A biopsy, as I guess most of us know, is when when there is some reason where we want to take a particular tissue from a person and send it to the laboratory for analysis. The reason we're looking at that tissue, again, in the area of cancer, uh, there are solid tumors, what are called lung cancer, breast cancer, colorectal cancer, prostate cancer. These are all cancers that are in tissue, are in the solid tumors. And you send the tissue sample to the laboratory, you do whatever analyses that you do, some of them on the BioView machine, some of them on other things, and you decide whether that person needs to be treated in a certain manner or not. As that person begins to be treated, you want to know if the treatment you are giving them is effective or not. After all, the old statement used to say sometimes, you know, chemotherapy is worse than the disease. If you just give a lot of chemotherapy to the subject, to the patient, that can kill them more than the actual cancer. Right. Because chemotherapy very often used to be very broad based. So yeah. how can we find out quickly and efficiently, in real time almost, whether this patient is being helped. Is the patient, the treatment we are giving this patient, the right treatment? Do we have to change the treatment plan or not? We can go back every two weeks and take a biopsy, but that's not a good idea. So instead, we have developed, together with many leading groups, the possibility of doing biopsy on blood, liquid 
biopsy. You take you a go. liquid from the person, and being that solid tumors metastasize and send into cells out there. into the peripheral blood system, very few cells. You might take a sample of blood, you might analyze 100,000 cells or more, and you may only find five or 10 tumor cells. But you are then able to monitor whether the treatment you are doing is helping that subject or not. Did the number of cells drop down, become less, or did they increase? If they're increasing, there's no point to continue giving them that particular type of drug. Another example, pharma companies, when they are developing new pharmaceuticals, they also need to know quickly whether it is working. You can't take biopsies from people every 24 hours. You can't do that type of invasive procedure. Liquid biopsy actually allows you to take the blood, look for those few rare cells. It is truly the proverbial needle in the haystack that we're looking for wow. here. Wow. And using the BioView instrument coupled with other technologies, we are able to enumerate those cells and actually monitor the treatment and do what we call now personalized medicine. Make sure we are giving the right medicine for that subject exactly as he needs it. Well, thank you so much for coming in. It sounds like you guys have created a life-changing product, and I'm excited to see what the future is. Thank you for having me, and I look forward to meeting you again. Have a very good evening.